Hey, what's going on you guys? What's up? My name's Barbarian and welcome back to another story time with Barbie. Guys, where are we? Where, where are we? We are in my new story time world. Now, I thought to myself, you know what? It might be kind of fun if I decided to have my own story time world, a little little world where I could go before we jump on the server to just just talk and just kind of have something that I could I could use for a while. So it's kind of cool. I really like it, and I think you guys are going to like it too. So let me go ahead and show you around the place quickly. It's not too big. It's it's kind of small, but here we've got my basic living room. I got the table and the chairs over there. Got some chests that I need to fill up with goodies and diamonds and things like that. Upstairs we've got, oh wow, looks like looks like some sort of stripper pole. No, I'm just kidding. But we also have more chests and my bed and my other chest. Oh, what's this? We have a wooden axe. All right, we're already getting a pretty good start, guys. Let's go ahead and see what's over here. And you can actually see on the outside, we've got what looks like, what's that? Looks like a portal over there. We'll have to check that out in a bit. But we've also got trees on both sides of us. So not only do we have this awesome house next to an awesome mountain, we've got these trees that kind of kind of support our house, actually, which is kind of a neat thing. I really like this build, so I decided I'd make this my home. Now, if you guys want to play with me today, we're going to be playing on a pretty cool Minecraft server. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about it but while we walk over, and we're going to get through the the, uh, the portal. I just did a little parkour jump there. That was... That was dangerous. I could have I could have easily fallen. <laughs> that would have been bad. But the server we're going to be playing on today, guys, is mc.momentonetwork.net. And if you guys want to play with me, I'm going to be doing a special thing because people always ask me, you know, Barbarian, when are you going to play on these servers? When do you when are you going to play with us? And I'm like, you know, I'm busy. I'm doing this and that. But here's what I'm going to do for the next two hours after this goes up. So from two o'clock PST to four o'clock PST, I will be on this server. I'm gonna be playing, we'll be playing some, some factions, maybe some sky block, whatever they have. Let's go and jump right into it. Here we are guys on momentum now. I'm gonna try out a little bit of everything today. I think I'll do some factions, maybe some prison, and I might even end it off with some Sky Wars. But don't forget, if you guys wanna join and if you want to play with me, then feel free to hop on mc.momentonetwork.com. I even have a promo code for you. SGC will get you 30% off at checkout if you're interested in something like that. But let's get right into the story because this story this is something that hits pretty close to home for me. I may be old to some of you guys, but I, I'm, I'm just 19, okay? I'm not like this old man who hasn't been in high school for a decade, okay? I graduated last year. It hasn't even been a year. So I totally understand where you guys are coming from when you say, Barbarian, I have all this homework and no time to do anything. And I, I always feel bad for people because that was my issue in high school. In high school, the homework really took a took a life of its own. I think a lot of you guys will understand where I'm coming from when I say a lot of teachers really seem to think that, you know, my class is the only one that really matters. I'm gonna assign a ton of homework for that class. Now, it might not be a bad thing every once in a while when you have a big project due, but unfortunately, it seems to happen pretty often, and more often than not, you have another class that's thinking the exact same way and also assigns you a ton of homework. And before you know it, three out of your five classes have projects due on Friday, and you've got a spelling test in English on Tuesday, and you've got to study the entire, I don't know, North American trade triangle thing, something in history. It's crazy, the fact that we have to kind of spread ourselves out so thin. And I know for me, it really cut back on the amount of extracurricular activities I could do in high school. I couldn't play sports because I was so focused on doing YouTube and getting my grades done because I, I always thought to myself, you know, if I'm gonna be doing school, if I'm gonna be in school, I might as well actually learn something from it. Because me sitting in school and just, just nodding off and not thinking about what I'm being told really doesn't help me at all. It, it just wastes my time. But if I'm in there and I'm learning, sure, would I rather be doing YouTube videos? Absolutely. But at least I'm gonna be actually taking something away from this conversation. So in school, I always tried to balance my homework with my YouTube life, and I just left a, not a lot of time in between. So I had to spend time with my family, my friends, and just do anything that didn't fall into those two categories, which is a lot of stuff. So I totally get what you guys are saying when you say, Barbarian, this homework thing, it's too much. And a lot of adults, they look at it as kids complaining. But 
There's a new study out of the American Psychological Association, the APA, which is a very, very, very smart scientific group that does all sorts of studies. And basically what they said is that homework isn't effective when it's more than 60 or 70 minutes per night, which I completely agree with. I think that in total, an hour is a reasonable amount to expect a student to do work outside of school. It just seems, that seems more reasonable to me. I feel like you guys would be on the same page as me. You know, an hour of homework every night, that's easy sauce. I mean, you do that while you're watching a Criminal Minds episode or something. I mean, it's it's super easy. You can, you can really just bang it out. And it's not so much about the, what is in the homework. You're not supposed to be just going in and doing, you know, random, random problems and equations. The key to this study is that this is only effective when teachers assign systematic homework that is very, very, not simplistic, but very, very rudimentary in the steps that you go through to complete it. So in other words, you're not teaching yourself, you know, how to do something because that's how students fall behind. I, I know in my, my algebra class, not my algebra class, my trig class, I was in the honors trig class, which was basically me as a senior with a bunch of really, really smart 11th graders. And I, I'll tell you, that was one of the worst classes I have ever been in because for me, I'm not a big talker in class. I really like to fly under the radar. I'm not one of those guys that likes to raise their hand and ask a bunch of questions. So when we were having to, to basically learn things at home through my, trig, through my trig book as homework, and then come into class having a basic understanding of those concepts, I was really falling behind to the point where I had to stay after school with my math teacher like every other day just to get an idea of what I was supposed to be doing because I, I'm not a big math person, I'm not. It took me a lot of work and a lot of extra, you know, staying after and really getting behind it to really even just pass that class. And I'm not gonna lie, I passed it with a B. So I'm not saying I did anything good or bad, but I mean, it, it was, it was, it was, it was hard. It took a lot of work. And I think that if my teacher had maybe assigned us homework that was more systematic and more just practicing and reinforcing what we had done that day, that probably would have been a lot better. And there's some schools that do this. My school, I'll give you the perfect example. In my English class, we our homework was always just to read. It was AP Lit, and granted, the reading was very difficult because in AP Lit, we only read books that were written around the 1800s and that were written in Old English. So you don't actually get to read books, you get to read Old English and translate what the author was meaning into regular modern day speak. So. That was a lot of fun, but the homework every day was to read. And we'd read a chapter or, you know, half the book, depending on how bad my teacher was at us. But the point is, the next day, we would come in and reinforce what we talked about. We'd reinforce the the different, uh, the different, I don't even know what they're called, plot lines. I, I've been out of English for so long, but reinforce different key, key things, symbols, things that we want to talk about for the test, and, and really just kind of use homework as an extension of of the classroom. And I feel like, I don't know, a lot of teachers, what do you guys feel like? I get tweets all the time telling me, Barbarian, I can't watch your video. I have so much homework. And my response is usually, do your homework. Don't, don't just watch my video. Those are not gonna make you smarter. Homework will. But then I got thinking, I'm like, you know, with these kids having so much homework, is it really the most effective way? And I'm kind of curious what you guys have to say about this. I want to know, because I know that a lot of you guys who watch me are still in school. And if you're not in school, then feel free to chime in as well, because honestly, I'm, I'm looking for anyone's feedback on this. Anyone's idea, I think, will be, uh, will be you know, more than valid here. I think we can all speak to the, the evil that is homework. So let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about homework. Do you guys like homework? Do you think it's annoying to have to do so much homework every day? Would you be more inclined to do your homework if you knew it was only going to take up an hour of your day? So let's say you get home at three o'clock in the afternoon from school, because that's the time I used to get home. If you get home at three o'clock and you spend an hour right after school doing your homework, you'll be done by four o'clock and you won't have to worry about anything except for maybe studying for some tests if you have some big tests coming up or whatnot. So what do you guys think? Is that cool? Does that sound better to you? Maybe I am just so old, I haven't even thought of the right answer. And you guys are gonna tell me down in the comments, I just know it. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this story time. I do hope that you enjoyed the video. Remember, if you wanna hop on the server, mc.momentonetwork.net. I'm gonna be playing on here for the next two hours. I really hope that you guys hop on and say hello. But until next time, guys, as always, my name's Barbarian. Peace out.